Hello everyone. I welcome you all to this lesson. Today I am going to discuss on the topic The Traveler's Return which is written by Robert Saudi. So here I begin and before that let me ask you have you subscribed to my channel? If you haven't then please do and watch the video till end and press the like button. if you have liked it so let us start with the topic the traveler's return by robert saudi first of all i will discuss the appropriateness of the title of the poem the traveler's return as you know children we all have traveled at some point of time what do you think is important the journey or the destination Naturally journey matters more than the destination success is a journey not a destination the doing is often more important than the outcome focusing on the journey also shines a light on what else you get out of trying to reach your goals in the poem the poet describes the beauty of nature from the eyes of a traveler he felt the sweetest thing the pleasure of the day which is the voice of love that welcomes his return when he finally reaches home is quite appropriate now i will tell you something about the poet robert saudi Robert Saudi was an English poet of the romantic school and poet laureate from 1813 onwards. He was born on 12th August 1774 and died on 21st March 1843. His famous poems are The Inchcape Rock, After Blenheim, The Traveler's Return, etc. Now a brief description about the poem the traveler's return by robert saudi describes the beauty of nature from the eyes of a traveler the traveler describes that the morning welcomes him by singing a song in a very pleasant tune and cheers to the traveler the sound which he hears from morning to evening seems like welcoming him and the traveler return to his home when he gets tired by walking under the sun in the afternoon the water flowing in the river provides him with a soothing melody as the morning turns into evening he feels calm the traveler hears the sound of shepherd's bell when from a far distance which makes him feel good the sound which he hears from morning to evening seems like welcoming him and the traveler's return to his home now the explanation of the first stanza and the lines are sweet to the early wayfarer the song amid the sky where twinkling in the dewy light the sky lark soars on high and cheering to the wayfarer the gales that over him play when faint and heavily he drags along his noon time tired way now the word meanings sweet means having the pleasant taste characteristics or delightful wayfarer means a person who travels on foot amid means surrounded by or in the middle of twinkling means shining with a gleam that changes from bright to faint dewy means with wet with dew or appearing soft and lustrous skylark means a common eurasian and north african lark of farmland and open country noted for its prolonged song given in hovering flight soars means to fly high in the air cheering means shouting for joy or in praise of encouragement 
gales means a very strong wind faint means not strong or clear drags means to pull somebody or something along with difficulty noon means afternoon or midday tide means the regular change in the level of sea caused by the moon and the sun now the explanation of the first stanza in this stanza the poet who was a nature lover says that the traveler in the poem enjoys the nature he describes his point of view from the eyes of a traveler the traveler describes the morning to be sweet and dim light can be seen in the sky the line the song amid the sky where twinkling in the dewy light means that the traveler describes that the morning welcomes him by singing a song in a very pleasant tune and cheers to the traveler the traveler describes the morning to be sweet and enchanting by the sweet song of the skylark that is soaring high up in the sky the line the cheering to the wayfarer the gales that over him play when faint and heavily he drags along his noon tide way means that when in the afternoon or at noon when he feels tired the gales around him cheers him up so we can say that the earth has music for those who listens nature's music is never over her silence are pauses not conclusions hence music and nature are the best medicines used for the nourishment of a goal they are the perfect combinations now i move towards the second stanza and the lines are and when beneath the unclouded sky full weary toils he the flowing water makes ma- makes to him a soothing melody and when the daylight wanes away and all is calm around there is sweet music to his ear in the distant she bells sound now the word meanings beneath means under unclouded sky means clear and transparent without any clouds or cloudless sky really means extremely tired or exhausted toil means to work very hard or for a long period at something soothing means having a gentle calming effect melody means a sequence of single notes that is musically satisfying or a tune wanes means to decrease or disappear calm means still quiet or peaceful sheep bells sound means a bell hung around the neck of a sheep so that the sheep can be easily located bell is a hollow device made of metal that makes a ringing sound when stuck now the explanation of the second stanza in this stanza the poet says that the traveler when in the afternoon while traveling under the hot unclouded sun he is soothed by the sweet melody of the flowing water the line and when the daylight wanes away and all the calm around there is sweet music to his ear in the distant sheep bell sound means that as the morning turns into evening he calms down he feels calm the traveler hears a sound of the shepherd bell from a far distance which makes him feel good music is the strongest form of magic music is the expression of the will of the nature while all others arts are expressions of the idea of nature hence the highest goal of music is to connect one's soul 
to their divine nature. Now I move towards the third and the last stanza, and the lines are, and sweet the village curfew bell, as shades of night appear, that marks his weary journey's born, and tells that home is near. But oh, of all delightful sounds, of evening or of morn, far sweetest is the voice of love that welcomes his return. Now the word meaning. Curfew bell means a bell rung in the evening in medieval England as the curfew signal for everyone to go to bed. Weary means exhausted. Journey means traveling. Delightful means very pleasant or charming. Welcome means to greet or salutation. Born means a small stream or destination. Now the explanation of the third and the last stanza. In this stanza, the poet says that in the evening, when dusk or sunset approaches, the traveller enjoys most of the music, of the sweet music of the distant sheep bell sound. But the sweetest of all was the pleasure of the day, which was the voice of love that welcomes his return when he finally reached home. The line, and sweet the village curfew bell, as shades of night appear, means that when slowly and gradually the afternoon turns into evening, the traveller is quite energetic and calm. It is silent of all around. The traveller could hear the curfew bell or the shepherd's bell music from the distance which seems very pleasant to his ears. The line that marks his weary journey born and tells that home is near means that the traveller when he is returning back from his weary journey that means exhausted journey or impatient or dissatisfied traveller towards his destination, that is, his house which seems to be near, he hears the sweet and melodious sound of the bell, the line, but oh of all delightful sounds of evening or of morn, means that the traveller says that of all the delightful or pleasant sounds which he hears either in the evening or in the morning, the line, for sweetest is the voice of love that welcomes his return, means that the traveller has really enjoyed this place and now it is the time for his return. He happily returns back to his village. Now the theme of the poem, The Traveller's Return. The theme of the poem is the beauty of nature. The poet is a nature lover. So he describes very beautifully each phases of the day. So let the beauty of nature remind you, you of the goodness of God. An early morning walk is a blessing for the whole day. To walk in the nature is to witness thousands of miracles. Hence, nature is an art of God. We can say that with every sunset, a new hope is born and an old expectation dies. So, sunset is a wonderful opportunity for us to appreciate all the great things the sun gives us. In a soulful place where not where earth and sky meet, nature embraces one divine heartbeat. Now the moral of the poem, The Traveler's Return, is the nature's beauty. Everything has beauty, but not everyone sees it. Every flower is a soul bl blossoming in the nature. So we can say, as the world is full of sorrow 
and sufferings but we can relish ourselves through nature as nature is painting is painting for us day after day pictures of infinite beauty so think of all the beauty still left around you and be happy so dear children with these words i end my lesson if you have any query you can drop a comment below hope this lesson will be beneficial for you in your study thank you